technical difficulties, but luckily we were able to go right up to the draft here. Um, I didn't lose any footage, thank goodness. We still have all of our all of our picks, all of our drafts, everything that we had before. We've got Bombay. We've got our first, and I think it's the sixth. Um, let's view the draft class real quick. See what we have have available. Let's see where what's his face is supposed to go. We know he's a franchise. There's it. So Svechnikov is supposed to go first. Zitz, Kupari, Dolan is supposed to go second. Franchise is supposed to go, what's that, sixth? Okay. Now. Kupari is a top six. We could probably pick him up if we need a center. Also, this guy too. Kovanov, playmaker, two way forward. It was in playing in Liga, huh? Okay. All right. Well, that's fine. Um, I think we're gonna take the Zitz first overall, and Dan. We could. All right. Let's go into the draft here. So we have the first overall pick and sixth overall pick. Now, I'm not gonna say this, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna pick Dolan first. And then we're gonna see, hopefully, what's his face will drop back to six and when we can pick him up with our sixth overall draft pick. Because we do need some defense. So we're gonna pick Dolan. I think he's 78 medium elite. Yep. All right. They pick up Svechnikov. Oh, I don't want to trade for it. They are gonna pick Zadina. All right, that's number four. Valeno. All right, Arizona. Don't pick him. Arizona. Don't pick him. Don't pick him, buddy. Damn it. See, he's 74. All right, so that means I got to go back through here and <laughs> I'm going to reload. No, that's not how I want to do it. All right, well, auto draft or whatever. And we're just going to go back and we're going to... Oh, it picked up Boquist. Well, we have a lot of picks this year. All right, let's do this again. Redo. Yeah, we're gonna do but we're gonna we're gonna reload that. Exit without saving. So we got Dollar, but no, we're gonna pick Zitz first. We'll probably pick up another. Let's see, they're gonna bring us back in. Oh, do, 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 do. Hello person who's watching. I don't think it's me. Maybe it's me, but I don't think it's me. Well, let's load this again. Well, we can't pick him up at six. He's gonna probably go up five. So what we'll do is we'll pick him first overall and then we'll just go with the other. He, he is two overall less. It was, he was 76 in the last one. Um, back up, back up, back up, back up. Um, oh, hey, what's up, Steph? We're gonna try this again. Please let this be before the draft. Um, yeah, we, we want to say thank you for the flags too, Steph. Those are awesome. We got them hanging up in the. We got them hanging up here in the room. Gideon wore his shark shirt like I think yesterday, or the day before. They're so cute. It's just great taste in baby clothes. They were adorable. Where is it gonna be? Where is it gonna be? Where is it gonna be? All right, so we are right before the draft. Okay. Oh, that's nice. How was Tarjay to you today? All right, so we gotta pick him first overall. Yes, it was awesome. We we enjoyed everything you sent us, and actually, it's inspired me. I'm probably gonna be getting a PO box here in the near future. All right, let's take our guy this time. Now we can. Uh, I'm okay with giving up on Dolan, to be honest. I know he's gonna be great, but I'd rather get this guy. He's supposed to go six overall, we're gonna take him. 
All right. Yep, 74 overall medium franchise in this one. All right. Sim to user pick. So they got what? Dolan, Svechnikov, Zadina, and Valeno. So I know of another elite defenseman in here that we can get. It's going to be... Where is he? Merkley? I think Merkley is too. You know, we'll go with Boquist because it's he, he's supposed to be next, and he's said to be uh, might be an elite. So let's let, let's take a was he offensive defenseman? Yeah, let's take a uh, we'll we'll take a chance on him. Yeah, there we go. A 69 medium elite. Look at that. That's great. I'm very happy. He's the lowest one so far, but he's still an elite, so I'm I'm okay with that. So let's sim to our our user pick and see where our next one is. It's going to be number 27. That's where Pittsburgh landed up. Okay, Noah Dobson. Noah Dobson went way down here. 52 overall, high top four. Wow, he went very late in this draft. All right now, so we got Boquist and we got Smith was right after that. Oh, Merkley, yep, was 67, but Boquist was the better option. He's a little bit better, um, both offensive and defensive. So I think we got the be the better choice in the two there. Kupari was a high top, medium top six. All right, Kovanov also medium top six. Top six, ooh, Egger, 55 medium elite defenseman. I still think we made a better call. There's Jet Wu, but he's always, you know, top four. Hug, top nine, top six. It's starting to drop off now. Top nine, top nine, any other delete? Any other deletes? No, there's top, there's a Akil Thomas, top six. I know that though. He's always a solid first round pick too. He does well. Um, yeah. No more elites. Let's see. We got any exact top six guys we can pick up in the first round? That'd be kind of cool. Um, we got Latipov. He's a fringe starter. You know what? Let's go with this guy. He's the best rated goalie. Maybe he will get lucked out and he'll be an elite. That'd be pretty sweet. You look at that. Medium elite. Oh, this is the best first round ever. Three medium or two medium elites and a medium franchise. We got a defenseman, a winger, and a goalie. Let me just get another elite center, and I think we will be set for the future. So I'm actually really happy with that. I'm very happy with that. And we, um, Jamie McGinn, no, I don't need that. So we, I think, are in the fourth round now. Oh, no, we do have one in the third round. Okay. So we had no... Um, Let's see, any elites go in the third round? Nope. Do, 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 I don't see any. Backup fringe starter, some decent goalies, bottom six. All right, let's see what we can get with our third third over, or third round pick here. Probably nothing too crazy, but we'll uh, we'll just see. We got McCallick, Popovich. Stefan Noel, I know he's generally a good one. What? You know, let's go with another goalie. I don't want Popovich. Popovich, Popovich, he's a big boy. No, it wasn't the controller, it was the game froze on me, Eddie. But luckily that auto saved, so we picked up right before the draft, so I didn't lose anything, but I was kind of upset about that. Um, you know, let's go with another goalie, why not? take a chance and see where he ends up okay 56 fringe starter not terrible he's probably end up being at least as good as Bonar is um, all right let's send to our next next pick you want to give us a fourth and a sixth for our fourth no we'll keep our fourth I'm happy with this fourth overall well I still got some top nine guys bottom six guy all right let's see if we get another top nine guy in here that'd be pretty sweet Mm, 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 mm. Noel, maybe. Wernblom. Lucas Wernblom. Center two way forward. He's not very scouted very well, that's for sure. What about this guy? Joel Teasdale. Nope. Um, I think we'll go with Noel. He's a big kid. Let's go with Noel. I remember him being good in somebody else's franchise. Okay, so hey, he's a low top six in this fourth round. That's that's not terrible for a fourth round. And has the potential to be a top six guy. I think I'll probably end up being more like a third or second, third, maybe fourth liner, but that's not a problem. Panthers want to give us McGinn for our six. No, I don't want McGinn. Thank you very much. I don't want that anymore. 
More knuckleheads, yes. <laughs> knuckleheads, I like that. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna tell call Shannon the hockey guy a knucklehead. Let's see what he thinks about that. Kavanov or Radulov? More goalies. We don't need more goalies. Um, let's just go by potential at this point and see if there's anybody with any exact potential or good oh here we go we got a medium elite here possibly in the fifth or sixth round he could be a low elite so let's uh yeah you can tell you can tell jokes man i'm cool with that take tell whatever whatever jokes you want we'll go with this guy i have him scouted could be an elite um low top nine that's not great but then again most of these guys are like hl or so i guess that's not a terrible pick for the fifth round Who we got now? We got another one in the fifth round. What are we gonna pick for here? You could be a top nine playmaker. What happens at a bulimic bachelor party? I don't know. I don't know, man. What happens at a bulimic bachelor party? Oh, here comes the sun. Or not the, the sun, the thunder. Um, ooh, a grinder, Breeze Galov. He's a six round. We could probably get him in the next round. Let's go with this guy, see what he is. Medium bottom six. All right. Well, he's no worse than the guy before. I can't jump out of a girl. <laughs> That's funny. That's silly. I can't jump out of a girl. That is funny though. I do like that. Fourth overall pick in the sixth round. Let's go over that grinder. See if he's still here. Maybe he might be a bottom six grinder, but that's fine with me. What is that? Sidu? Xavier Sidu? That's a crazy weird name. Is that Ryan Reynolds? I would not have a problem with... Where is he? Is he on here anywhere? What's his name? Ron Reynolds. I thought it was Ryan Reynolds. I was like, oh man, we got Deadpool in here. That'd be great. Um, exact top six, exact bottom four. Yeah, let's go with this guy. This is love. Oh, I could if I get Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson's a top six grinder. There's another bottom six. He's bottom six. So we got, what, two guys that were bottom six? Or we got one the last one that was bottom six. He's bottom six grinder. How big is he anyways? 5'10". He's a teeny tiny little dude. All right, that's fine. At this point, these are all just kind of crapshoots, so we're just going to continue to draft and... Oh, we got another one in the sixth round? My goodness, we got all kinds of late-round draft picks. I forgot about that. I want to eventually get a line of, like, all grinders. That'd be great. Fix Walansky. Um, I don't know. Winkler. They got some great names of the created people in here. Estrada? Jose Estrada, get a Mexican on there. McCabe, Ned McCabe. I'll hold off on him, I think. Turco Shestopolov. Mikhail Shestopolov, that's a hell of a name. Let's go with this guy, because he sounds strange. Low top nine, okay. We still technically have the you know potential to be an NHLer, so that's not bad. It's better than getting seventh defenseman and NHL potential guys. I can't be too mad about that. Fourth overall pick in the seventh round. Um, any other elites going anywhere around here? Let's check the round, sixth round and see. Bottom six, bottom six, bottom six. Do do do. Fringe starter, top nine, that was ours. No elites in the sixth round. As a Deacon in and Claude Lemieux. Yes, I love Claude Lemieux. He wasn't given enough credit. He was a pretty darn good, uh, pretty darn good player for what he was. Hey, Megan, how's it going, darling? Let's see, Steph, have you seen our jerseys yet? I don't think you have. He's a Zach top six, so we're gonna take this guy because it's the seventh round. It's probably gonna be a low one, but. Yep, low top six, but it's still technically better than, you know, one of these guys, I guess. Sim 2 user pick, is that our last one? Nope, we got another one. Okay, what else can we pick up in the seventh round? Let's just go by funny names. This is the funny name part of the draft. This is the part where I just go by the greatest names. Where's that Reynolds guy? Is he still available? 
Nope. I was hoping I'd get that. What's his name, guy? Ron or Ron Reynolds? Like Ryan Reynolds' brother? Turco, Bartley, Farron. Well, I'm not even gonna attempt that one. Millivanio. Yeah, no, I don't wanna. That'd be crazy to see on the back of a uh, go of a back of a thing of a jersey, though. Um, let's just look up and see. We got you know we'll take another goalie. Fringe starter, probably not even be much. Oh, he is a fringe starter. Look at that in the seventh round. Let's see what the uh, NHL top six. Yep. So we have not gotten anybody less than a bottom six. Um, player. There we go. The draft is complete. Hi, Katie. How's it going? Pretty good. I'll show you in the jerseys in the second step. That's really. That's really that, loud. I'm sorry. Do you remember the name of that soda that Publix now so, are was selling the Mexican? Yarito. J a r r i t o. Yarito, Arito, something like that. Yeah. They sell it when Dixie too. Oh. They sell it like every grocery store. Kate, Megan says hi. Hi, Megan. Um. When Jordan gets done streaming, I'll Steph try. has a date on Tuesday. Ooh. Ooh. Good luck, Steph. She's leaving now. Yeah, congratulations, Steph. Is it with the same girl? That one you're all Twitter painted over. Yes, I just used the term Twitter painted. Okay, we're gonna go to customize jerseys real quick, just so that we can show Steph the beautiful Mobile Mystic jerseys. All right, you want to see these awesome things? We're the, like dragony there. Okay, that's the home. I kind of use the old uh, Colorado Avalanche front too, so that's the home. SD way. Do they do? Does pro hockey life? ship to America, Eddie, because Megan lives in Ohio, because I've, if they ship to America, I might actually go check that out myself, too. That's adorable. I got purple one. Purple, white, and green. And this, and Steph, this team actually used to exist in the ECHL. Dude, they, re okay, I'll have to check that out, too, because I've heard a lot of my, a lot of the Canadian YouTubers that I follow, the hockey guys, um, talk about pro hockey life a lot and I did wasn't sure if they uh, if they ship to the states but now that they know that they ship to the states that's good to know because I might check it out if they got any good deals I might pick myself up something I have a small hockey collection nationalsports.ca okay that's cool um no goalies oh we didn't extend anybody this year but that's okay I did it in the last video but we lost the file but that's fine okay so let's look at oh, what we have what's up shark you figured everything out we got all of it all worked out nice yeah I don't know any place at all to get He's still 74. We'll see what he jumps up to in the offseason, though. You are definitely going to be getting a contract. So we got Zitz. I was going to see if I could pick up him and Dolan, but Dolan didn't... Uh, he he, uh, he didn't drop enough. So we got Dolan, but we didn't get Zitz. So I was like, no, I'd rather go with the 74 overall medium franchise. Rohoriak, what do you want, buddy? We'll do five years... Of Four and a half. Oops. See if you'll take that. Um, extension. He does want an extension. So does Stone. Okay, Stone wants an extension. Six years. You want an extension, so let's just give you a five at six. See if you'll take six million for five years. Boquist will give you one. Bauer and then 9,000 clubs that listed out. Wow. That's, that's definitely a good deal. That's literally like half off, that's sweet. I also didn't realize that the hockey equipment was that expensive, that's crazy. Um, Noel, I think is... Canadian, yeah, we don't need to sign him yet. Okay, who is, okay, UFAs. 
Yes, you. We will give you a contract to um, Kalusti. We'll release you. Callan. We'll release you. Stewart. We'll release you. Weidman. We'll bring Wyland Weidman back. Why not? Mitchell. No. IRV. No. Bye. Bye bye. We're gonna have so much cap space now. Airhoff. First guy to ever score a goal, score goal in a Mon mobile, almost in Montreal, mobile Mystics jersey. And we're gonna let him go. I don't wanna give you a contract, I wanna release you. I'll release you, and I'll release you, and I'll release you. Oh wow, okay, so that's all of those. Um, RFAs, Polka, we need to give you a contract. Did you want, yes, you want an extension. So these guys all want extensions. Okay, so we can give you two years, three years at three, two, seven, five. Let's give you three years. I'm <laughs> the unskilled laborers, yes. <laughs> See if you'll take two million for three years. Oh dear lord, that's bad. Seattle meth labs, maybe the Vancouver meth labs, the Victoria meth labs, something like that. Um, Max, yeah, these guys I don't want. Well, I'll give Paul a contract, I guess, for a year. I don't think he's gonna amount to much, but you never know. Um, now, RFAs, unsigned, anybody else we need to unsign, Noel, no, he can play. Uh, Alright, these guys, offer you a contract, offer you a contract, because you guys can all play. Um, McCabe, are you Canadian? Nope, you're American, so I need to give you... No, nope, we won't give you a contract. That's not good, Megan. Hopefully they don't find it. That wouldn't be good. We'll give you a contract, because I know that you're American. And I have no goalies. Actually, I need to check out goalies, because I think I did draft a couple. Uh, goalies. Wow, look at them all. Um, Bonar, we want to bring back. Holy hell, he jumped to an 85? Jeez. Alright, Austin Birkin, release. Taylor, we'll release you. Bonar, we need you to give you another contract. Three years at 1.2. Well, isn't that where it was supposed to be, Megan, is in your room? Oh, that's right. I forgot about this guy. Ladipov. One, two, three. If we can sign one more. We'll wait. Because we got... I can't believe Anderson jumped up to 85. Look at that. 85 years old. Or 85 overall. Look at that. Not too shabby. Cool. Well, that makes me that makes me feel a little better. We'll get Anderson for going for a couple more years, at least until this guy's ready to go. But it's going to be a couple years for him. Um, also, we got Hogberg and Gustafsson too that could come up and do some stuff. Hey, cat, how's it going, darling? Let's see. 
Alright, our Hornex back. Bonar rejected. Uh, okay, he wants to change the duration. Okay. So, a couple of guys. Bill Quiz, all the young guys. Whoops. I didn't mean to advance another day, but that's okay. Why does Ant-Man remind you of me? Not that I'm complaining, because, you know, that's a really funny movie, but... Really? Ant-Man reminds you of me. Interesting. Um, RFA's Polka. Offer contract. Fine, we'll just give you a one year at the max. How about that? Yes, I do know that. She did it to me the other night. What the hell? Why do I have an alarm going off? Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, whoop-de-doo. Jack McBain. Yeah, that's right. You keep talking about him. He's out Minnesota Wild now. That's pretty cool. Um, goalies. All. Um, Bonar. Oh, one year. About three years at one and a half. One, yeah, 1.5. I didn't look to see what it was that he wanted. Maybe the term wasn't right, but we'll give him a million and a half for two years. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I guess that, that I can I can see that though, cat. I can I can kind of see how I would remind you of Ant Man. Me and that actor do have wow. Look at all these fringe starters. Okay, so these three guys on the bottom here trade bait. We can totally get rid of them. We don't need them. Because we got a backup starter and elite already coming up, so we yeah we're 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 good. We don't really need any of those guys. We'll just let them be. We actually can probably put them on the trading block if we need to. Let's just make sure there's nobody else that needs to be signed. All expiring. Just polka. I heard it wasn't that good, buddy. Honestly. I mean, I'm going to go see it too, but I've not heard the best of things about it. Alright, man. Have a good night, buddy. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. Always enjoy, always enjoy having you here. Need that Canadian humor in my life. It makes me giggle. I love it. Was it good, Cat? I want. I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see Ant Man. That looks good. I mean, it's no Deadpool, but I really like Paul Rudd. I want to. I need to give him more money. Okay, so Polka's back. What we need to do is sign Boner Time, because he just wants to. He just wants to test free agency. I'm like, buddy, why? We're going to be lit next year, man. We are going to be so damn lit. We are going to have such a good team. Yeah, anyways, yeah, you were talking about Vanessa. Continue. What was it that you were talking about with Howie? All right, Bonar. We're going to give you three years of two million. How's that? Or 2.250. Way overpaying for him, but I put him in here to keep him on this team. So hopefully he can stay. How much cap space do we even have? 18 million? So I have like 16 if he signs? Okay, that's fine. I have retained salary on somebody? Oh, I didn't know that. I wonder how long that's for. Not that it matters. Huh, that's different. Is he still doing um New Vegas? I was gonna pop in or pop in earlier, but I got busy. Especially because I think part of it was I was streaming. There we go. Such a generous contract compared to my expectations. Yeah, I paid you like $2 million for three years, buddy. Um, anytime somebody comes in here and just says shark, I want to be like, stay out of the pool. Or stay out of the water. You can get eaten by a shark. Okay, let's see what we need. What do we have and what do we need? 
I don't think I'm going to do free agency in this one. Well, I guess I could. I mean, the other one was like a little... Uh... Oh, I bet it did. That shark going to get you. <laughs> All right. Centers. One, two, three, four, perfect. White, Smith, Horiak, and Duchesne. When did Colin White jump up? I feel like he was a medium top nine, and now he's a high top six, which I'm completely okay with, but yeah. So you got, okay, so there we go. There's our top four. I mean, Zach Smith is, meh. He's decent. He's actually got some pretty good offensive skills for Grinder, but that's all right. We can put him on the third or fourth line. Um, I think we'll probably have Rahoriak on that second line. Only went up one overall, though. I'm kind of... I mean, we can always wait and see in the offseason. He may jump up more, but I'm kind of surprised that that's all he jumped up to. Um, Duchesne went up a little bit. White went up some. I think everybody went up, so that's good. Um, so that's centers, left-wingers. We got the left Kirby, Bombay. Is he listed as a... Nice. Oh, he's still a death forward. That's awesome, even though I have no idea what hockey tiles are. Stone and Ryan and Zitz, but Zitz is probably going to go down. Yeah, he's a minor checking forward, so we'll probably play him on the first line. So we could use some winger depth. So we got some, we got some winger depth. One, two, three. Yep. We also need some defense as well. Polka is still a depth forward. Okay. I mean, we could see some of these. Ooh, Z Zadorov grew, I think, too. He's up to a top four. Oh, that's sweet. So you can, like, make a rink out, side out. Uh, you can make a rink out back, and you can, like, skate out back. Why are you not happy? Is it because our team sucks? Erhoff was released. Finishing Leah. Ah, oh, that's why. Failing to make the playoffs. That's all right, buddy. You you grew a lot, though, because he was, what, like an 81 the beginning of the year? Aw. Uh, well, you can you can have him. You can get him when you get back home. He was an 81, though, and he's 37, and he grew to an 85 in one year. I hope Bonar jumps up, but I don't think he's going to. He's just going to be our shitty backup forever. All right, so we need some wingers. We need some defensemen. So let's see what we have available. And we got 16 mil in cap. Carlson. Okay. They aren't skatable tiles? So what do you have them for? Are you making an ice sculpture? Let's see, a two-way. Yeah, we'll offer Carlson a contract. So far, no one else is interested, but let's give him six and a half for four years, see if he'll come and play with us. So that's six, so now we got 10 left. Uh, we need Neil, Peron, Stashny, Morrissey. Oh, he's an RFA. Let's go to UFAs. And let's look at potential. Neil. I have not heard of Hockey Shot. It's true, it could be. You get Kunackle. I like Kunackle. Um, he could be a bottom six guy. Connor Brickley. Third line checker. Kunackle. Ian Cole for defense. He wants a lot, though. Man, um, Max Camilleri. Hmm. Oh, we have 16 to play with, so let's get. Um, he wants 4.2. Let's go for defense first. So we got Carlson, Green, Johns. Um, Alexiak. Let's get Alexiak. He's got... Okay, I'll do that. Is that a good thing? I'm assuming that's a good thing, Steph. Alright, let's give you a three mil for two years. 
Mr. Alexiak, because you're a big dude and you could get a little better. We need a bottom some bottom six guy. Um, the dude, nope, he's kind of a shit top six. Um, let's go with Johns. He only wants like two mil, so let's give him two mil for three years. See if he wants to come over here. That's good. Yeah, I was on, oh, Paxel was what I used to take. Hey, Kelly. Mm. Ashney. Camillary. What's Camillary? He's 36. He's a sniper. Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to get Neil because I love Neil. Or do I want Perron? Who do you think would be better? Perron's a two-way. Neil's what? A power forward? I would rather have Neil because I know that Neil scores goals. I have to give him six because he's got some teams involved. So let's try to see if we can get him with six. How about six two five? I don't know if that's going to be enough for cap, but we can try. He doesn't get good. I like DSP, but he just doesn't ever get good. All right, potential. Can we sort by potential? See if there's anybody with potential that's worth the Kunackle's the only one, which I think, did we already offer? We didn't offer him one, did we? No, we didn't. Fuck it, let's offer him one, why not? Sure. Hunter Shinkirk, remember when this kid used to be good? We'll get him for, because why not? M. From. Matthias From. I think it's From. Alright, so hopefully we don't have a cap for that. Hold on, let me just take a quick break. I gotta run to the bathroom real quick. Guys, I shall be turning in about 30 seconds. Now you guys go. You're having a conversation anyway, so I guess that's cool. Yes, we are all listening if you want to talk about it. We are all here. We are all friends. We support our friends. All right. Yeah, same. I was only on Paxel for like six months, but let me tell you that six months helped me out a lot. I mean, to be completely honest, I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for marijuana, but let's not go into illegal substances. Although technically it's legal where Kat is right now, but she's not old enough to purchase it. So John's accepted, Coonhackle accepted, Alexiak, Neil, Shinker. Do we get everybody that we wanted? About Carlson. We're just waiting on Carlson. Um, let's see how much cap space we have. So we got James Neil, nice. So we still got six million left. Um, Josh Morrissey. Oh, he's an RFA. And Barbershev, Nick Ritchie. Oh, I'd love to have Nick Ritchie. Well, I appreciate that. I'm glad I'm here, too, because if... Ooh! Ooh, yes! 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 We are getting Yager. Because we're getting Yager. Because he's Yager. And I want him to retire. I don't want him to... Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to sign for $4 million for two years. I know Colorado shouldn't give him that. Now, my question is, can we get him to 2,000 points before he retires? He's only an 81, and he's probably going to be dropping for the rest of for most rest of the year. But can we get him? Yeah, exactly. Yager, cause Yager, cause he's like the only one left that was still playing. Well, I mean, not anymore. But as of the beginning of this past season, he was the only um, player left from when I used to 
watch hockey that still played. Like when I first started watching hockey back in the late 90s. Because most of those guys that were playing then don't play anymore. Um, I think the only two were maybe a Ginla and uh, Yager, and that was it. Oh, the other guys didn't play then. So we're still waiting on Carlson. I believe I offered him... Uh, there, we got Carlson. I don't know as though we're going to have enough to sign Yager now. I don't think that sucks in here. I think he... Nope, we only have a million and a half. That's okay. Let's go quickly trade somebody for y so we can get Yager. I'm going to be upset if I trade somebody and he doesn't sign with us. Nobody, I think he will. So we need about $4 million in cap space. Because we need to get him 2,000 points. I miss him too. All right. Whoa! Whoops. So who's old, has a high cap hit, and I'm okay with losing? This guy, Clark MacArthur. See if anybody wants him. How about Vegas? Do you want him for anything? Like a draft pick from 100 years from now? How about a seventh round pick in 2024? Bring back Datsuk and Yager and Dupuy. I wish you could bring back Dupuy. See, and the power duo of my childhood was Yager and Lemieux, but that's only because I'm a huge Penguins fan. But Datsuk and Zetterberg were, yes. That was a beautiful combo. Ugh. Well, maybe not Clark MacArthur then. They want him though. Maybe if I take something that they want. How about a seventh round from this year instead? And how about if I give you... I love Dupuy. Dupuy is one of my all time favorite penguins. And he really, what he had to retire before his time because of, of injuries. But Dupuy and Crosby were just, like, we had Dupuy, Crosby, and Neal together. That was one hell of a line. Here, take a third rounder from there as well. How about that? Please accept that. Really? You're getting a third round pick? Well, shit, who else can we give up that's got cap space? Or that's got a, a, a contract, but not necessarily a great overall. Um, we need like five million. Um, Bobby Ryan instead, because we're gonna get Yager. You know what, yeah, we'll switch him out. Um, I don't know, but I don't think he's staying in Ottawa, Steph. I really don't think he's going to stay in Ottawa. I mean, if he does, I'll be shocked. Oh, okay. Wait, do you, do they want him? I didn't look now. Who wants him? Everybody who has, who can't sign him, right? Yep. Come on, who wants Bobby Ryan? He's a good guy. He, he's, he's a good scorer. Who, who wants him that can afford him? Because none of you guys can afford him. Now, if I trade him, even though they don't have the cap space, can I still get <laughs> for Taylor Hall? Yeah, no, that isn't going to happen. Ooh, say Jack, that's another one. Um, About for a seventh round pick this year. Or no, I could probably get more than that. Uh, how about a second? Instead. Over the league maximum salary cap. Yep, that's not going to work. Who's got cap? Who's got cap? Vegas, will you just please take Bobby Ryan? Would you just take somebody? That you... Something? Someone? Did do me a favor? Throw me a freaking bone here? How about a second round pick from like 20 years from now? Uh, this neither block needs, so let's see if we give up something they want. Like how about a fourth, a fifth, a fifth, and a sixth, and a seventh? Get rid of that, and we'll give all their late round draft picks that they don't want. A fourth through a seventh. Is that even gonna, like, work? See, now they're giving up too much. Yeah, 
you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't. And, um, you know, kept him and then he just goes to free agency because they're smart like that. Uh, fourth and two fifths, will that work? I don't really want to give up Bobby Ryan, but. I don't think it makes sense to take on the salary of Bobby Ryan. How about for, instead of a fourth, how about a third? Give us a third from this year. That's still way. Really? For a third round pick? Dude, well, you do realize that right now in this universe that you're country's capital does not even have a hockey team and they moved to Alabama, right? <laughs> I mean, I traded Carlson in the first year and got a freaking draft picks out of it. I got a first and a sixth overall draft pick out of the deal. So I was okay with that. I mean, it turned into what? Zitz and freaking, um, not Zadorov, some Russian dude, some, like, we got three elite players in the, in the draft. So I really want to trade somebody so that I can get Yager because I need... How about if I give you a, a third round pick in Bobby Ryan? So with all skaters, who was just like, I don't get it. Who's got the big cap hit with no value or little value? Johns wants a meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weidman. We got like one year left on a really big deal. Like Duchesne? No, I don't want to give up Duchesne. Neil Carlson, Stone, MacArthur. Well, if they do, it's because Ovechkin's a Russian spy. Because logic. I gotta find somebody who's gonna want this. How about that? Instead of a third, how would you give us a seventh? Hey, Megan. make him a $5 million player? How's that? How about that? I retain 8500 80, There we go. Now I had to retain a little bit. Sweet. Okay, now hopefully we have enough to sign Yager. What is our cap space at now? If, I'm, if he doesn't sign, if he signs with Colorado, I'm going to be pissed. Oh yeah, we should have enough. I think we offered him like $4 million. Okay, we're hopeful, so that's good. So let's advance another day. Carlson had 70 points last season, holy hell. Yes! Woohoo! Okay guys, now, here is the goal. All right, so let's sim up to preseason. We're not, that's gonna be, yeah, I'm not gonna sim anymore after that once we get to preseason. That's all I'm gonna sim in this video, but. September 12th, let's go to the 12th. So. Now the goal going forward, after we talk to people, because Zadorov apparently wants to talk to me. I'm not happy that you chose right away Clark MacArthur. It really changes the locker room for me. Well, you know what? I'm sorry, buddy, but hockey is a business. Sometimes you have to make decisions that are tough. Unchanged. Okay, that works for me. And get worse. Don't you do anything to it, Megan, or I will drive to Ohio and poke you in the nose. I will boop you repeatedly on the nose. Yes, that's what will happen. So Weidman is a leader. Interesting. All right, so we're going to go up to free agency. We're going to set our lines and then we will be finished with this video. But our goal going forward, guys, with this one is get Yager to 2,000 points and make the playoffs this year. Or at least make a damn good run at the playoffs this year. 
But I think with the team that we have, because we were kind of, perp- I was purposely trying to tank last year, but we've got our prospects. We've got our core going forward. We've got, you know, we've got the medium elite goaltender and that Ukrainian guy that I can't remember it was like Zaitkov, not Zaitkov or something. Yeah, we, we, we will all drive, fly, walk, run, fly, swim, crawl, waddle to Ohio and boop you on the nose repeatedly. We will boop nose torture you. Don't ask me what that means, but it means something. All right. When does preseason start? It should be up here somewhere. All right, let's set our captains. So we have Duchesne, Stone, and Rohoriak is our... Actually, I don't mind that. I'm actually okay with that. Okay, cool. You guys might think it's weird. Um, right, Cal. Wouldn't that hurt her back, though, Steph? I mean, she's only a little kitty. We have five centers. Why do we have five centers? And we also have five right wings. Oh, because we have only two left wings. And we have eight defensemen. Okay, we got to send some guys down. <laughs> yes, she would be like, give me pettings. Should this be like, purr, 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 purr. Wow, Bombay is up to a 70 on. Why is he on the... Th- he, no. No, 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 no. Colin White goes up there. Colin White on the second line. Logan Brown on the third line. This just... Look at this. Just look look, 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 look what they... What they, they... Okay, that looks... Wait, now you have him on the first line? That's different. Is it because it's offense? Yeah, it's because it's offensive awareness and so on. So we are going to, yeah, well, let's do that. Ooh, Mark Stone's an 88. So, all right. So we will put Bombay on that first line with Duchesne. There we go. He went up to an 83. Good, good. Yager's an 81. What's he listed as? A second liner? No, he's listed as a third liner. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is... Why don't we put Yager here, and we'll put Bobby Ryan on that third line. No, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to put Neil ready on the right side, lefty on the left side. Sure, I guess that works. Actually, no, I'll switch these guys. We'll put mix switch Stone Bombay. Um, Ryan will go up there with Yager. So between Yager, Horiak, and Bobby Ryan, I'll put Bombay on that third line. What's your face offset? 77. Let's switch you because I'm pretty... No, I guess... And Gerby. Colin White. You know what? I'm thinking way too much about this. Let's just go best lines. Let's go best lines and leave it as it is. And what do we have for defense? Um, we got Alexic. Nice, Alexic looks decent. Johns are both. He's got another year, but they're both probably at least at 80. Weidman is kind of. Yeah. What's he listed as? Top six. Weidman's a top six. Zadorov is a top four. Chabot is a top four. Carlson is a top two. Oh, 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 shark. That was a funny joke. That was a funny... Shark made a funny... He's still only a 78. He's not getting any better. Although Craig Anderson did. Oh, well. So there's our lines. I'm going to do some quick roster moves here. Actually, let's simulate it up to 17 right before preseason. All right. Okay, now who is it that we need to send down? Just to go and look. At least we got a top two guy in Carlson. We don't have, um, not Carl. Well, we got another different Carlson. We had one Carlson and we got the other Carlson from Washington. England and Polka. All right. 
actually, what I think I'll do is we have Poka Scratch, so we need to bring him up so he can play. So we'll probably, who am I going to send down? Who's the old guy that I can send down? Weidman, Johns, Alexiak. They're both defensive defensemen. Offensive, defensive, 2A, 2A. Offensive and a defensive. Defensive and a defensive. So let's... I don't catch. Not generally. I'm good with cats too. First off, let's put in... What is he listed as? He's listed as a top six, so we should probably play him in his role. No. Um, let's... Alright, let's actually get rid of Johns, I guess. I signed him and forgot about Polka. He can be a... Injury call-up player? Really want Weidman up there though. He's kind of not that great. He's only an 80. Top six offensive defenseman, but that's all right. All right, so let's save the game. So all right, guys, that's it for this one. That was the first year, kind of broken up into two videos, but that's all right. So we got the uh, the we had the the first year done in the last video. We we did the draft and and the resign phase phase in this one. So. So the goal going forward is. Get Yager to 2,000 points before he before he uh, before he retires. Um, actually, I'm gonna look at that real quick. I mean, I'm saving it, so it won't matter. But I'm just gonna go check his career stats at the moment and see how close we are and how many points it is that we're gonna need to get him from to get to 2,000. Night, Megan. Are you going to bed? All right, full career stats. He had 57 points last year. Um, where's the totals? Do they have the totals? Nope. They have all the way back to 1990, though. 57, like 149 points in 95, 96, in 82 games. That's 62 goals. That's insane. What was the most he scored? Yep. And 05, 2000. So we don't know how many he has at this point. He takes a, lot, a good amount of shots though. He had 46. Let me look here. I'm gonna do this real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this off camera because you all don't wanna see this is boring. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. We are going to see if we can get this gentleman right here 2,000 points before he retires. He's probably going to retire at the end of this year. I'm actually surprised he was in free agency. But I think it's because he had a good year last year. Um, he was fifth, fifth, fifth overall by Pittsburgh. Third line scoring for it. All right, guys. That's it for me. Um, like, and, like and comment. Subscribe. You know what to do. Um... I'm excited. I hopefully I hope we can get Yager because Yager's the man. He's my favorite. One of he's probably one of my all-time favorites. He's easily top five, um, top five. But um, y'all have a great night. I love you, Megan. I love you, Steph. I love you, Shark. I love you all. Or Shark and Owen. I meant to say Shark and then Owen. That's the same person. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Um, love you, Cat. We all love you too, Megan. We're all here if you need us. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't think that that we're beyond help or that you're beyond help or that you're not worth it just call and talk to someone first generally you're being irrational and not like most people when they feel like that aren't thinking rationally and whatnot so they kind of think and do things they probably normally wouldn't because they're depressed but we're here for it and we love you and i love all of you guys out there in the internet because you guys make this so much fun i love doing these for you guys i love having you guys come in the chat talk to me it's a great time and uh if you haven't if you're watching this after I've already live streamed, definitely try to make the next one. Um, I don't really have a schedule. I kind of just do it when I feel like it. Um, I do try to do it, you know, middle of the day to, to early evening. And by early evening, I mean like before 10 p.m., which is after 10 p.m. Central now. Yeah, it's like 10.30 Central. Um, but yeah, 
I try to do these kind of serve not too late in the day because I know a lot of people, you know, have heart, you have work and everything. That's a heart attack, Megan. That's not anxiety. You're probably having a heart attack. No, I'm just kidding. They're not. It's fine. You're just having a panic attack. Just need to breathe and, and chill. It'll it'll go away. That's literally what a panic attack feels like. It feels like your heart's being squeezed at tightness in your chest. Yeah. Probably having a panic attack. Not fun. But what is fun is hanging out here with me and watching these videos with me and coming in and being help, helping be a, you know, helping be in a GM. And also, sometimes you might get some free psychological uh, help if you need it because we're always here to help. I'm here to help with that stuff. So don't be afraid. If you don't like hockey, just come in and hang out and talk. That's always fun too. We will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful night. Love you all. Love you, Megan. You're beautiful. And I'm going to probably shoot you a text here in a minute to make sure that you're all right, even though you said you shut your phone off. But that's it from you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. If I can figure out how to go, there's the button I'm looking for. All right, guys. Love you all. Have a great night.